the Drupal developer. Today I am going to share with you some cool features of Drupal 8. Now this is how the site looks when you are going to set up the site on your system. And the setup, setting up the site is same as of Drupal 7 and nothing much complex in setting up the site. Like you can continue with the standard version and then you have to enter the database details and all that. After setting up the site, the site will look like this and this is how the initial setup of Drupal 8. The theme is Bartek only. This is the admin bar of the Drupal 8 site and here we have all that users, configuration, modules, appearance, etc. Now the main feature which I feel is that the responsive design of Drupal 8 site like the site is responsive from the very first installation where all the admin themes and the core themes of the site are working fine with the mobile site let me show you an example in the responsinator.com this is how the site looks in the various devices let me scroll through the different devices and you can see that it is appearing very much correct in a as a responsive manner let me show you the admin bar in the mobile site and this is how the admin bar looks like in the various devices let me show in some small and some tabs also so this is the very cool feature of Drupal that it's being responsive from the very first installation the another thing in Drupal 8 is blocks are an entity so you can easily extend the blocks and can add the fields to the blocks and the views are being added in the core provides the unnecessary installation like you don't have to uninstall the view separately as it is present in the core let me show you the list of the modules that are available in the core now these are th the modules that has been like already available in the core and we do not have to separately install those these modules like some of the common ones are views uuid that is unique universal identifier translations link file entity entity api entity reference and all these are available in the core now some are that is some module has been removed and few of them are blocks dashboard open id php filter that is for the security purpose and out of them many are available as a contribution so like if required it can be installed separately let me show you the file structure of drupal 8 like all the core files of the Drupal it has been moved to a core folder Th this one is the root directory of Drupal 8 site and this in the core we have all the core files of Drupal 8 like earlier in Drupal 7 we have the core files in the root directory only but now all the core files have been moved to the core folder now coming to the modules and themes for like earlier we were putting the custom modules or the contrib modules in the site salt directory but now we have the modules folder in the root only and there we can put our custom modules or the contrib modules let me show you one i have created it is a hello world module now this module i have put in the like this one is my root directory root of the drupal installation and in the modules folder only i have created two folders just to avoid the confusion one is the contrib and one is the custom and in custom one I created the first hello world module following the MVC pattern of the site another feature of Drupal 8 is the integration of symphony framework which is a object oriented framework built in PHP only and there are a lot of components available in symphony framework but out of that only 8 component has been used by Drupal 8 and those are routing validator yml routing class loader class loader is for automatic loading of the classes as per the psr0 standard dependency injection http foundation http kernel and the event dispatcher like only these eight components are being used by the drupal of the symphony 2 framework now let me show you the template like the TIG as we all know the TIG has been used as a template engine for the Drupal 8 site 
and tuk is like much fast secure and flexible it is fast because tuk compiles template down to a plain optimized php code and the overhead compared to a regular php code was reduced to minimum let me show you one doc that i have created for like comparing the php template at the tuk template like in the php template we write the ph php code in the template file itself so like which creates the overhead for compile it. but in the twig we don't write any php code instead we use the plain optimized php and this is how the syntax of writing the command in the twig style and this is how we write as in a normal php way in a, till up till drupal 7 similarly the node files are get sorry template files are created in a this html dot twig extension earlier we had dot tpl dot php and twig it is dot html dot twig now the coming to the variables like as we as after like we don't write the php code in the template files of twig so there is a syntax of curly braces that we use and it is a like predefined way of writing the variables and this is how we write this one is for the php template and below that we have how we do the same in the twig one so these are the things like the twig provides and it is secure as we don't write any php code and fast also as compared to the php template engine and the docs of twig is available at the twig site only and it's like very much yeah it can be understood easily like by going through it at first glance now coming to the extensibility part like i've told you as blocks are already is a available as a entity so we can extend the blocks easily similarly for views views is as available in already available in core and like views can be used for customizing the home page of the site also one important feature of drupal 8 is like for migration we don't have to like worry about the next available version like if you want to migrate the site from d6 to d7 then now it's no not more not any more necessary to like update the site first to a drupal 7 and then from 7 to 8 we can directly update the d7 d6 site to d7 let me show you the api phase like as drupal 8 is currently in the api completion phase and it would take near about 3 to 4 months minimum to like release the first stable version this is the chart for which is showing the re release of the drupal version drupal 8 versions like drupal 8 development started in the march 2011 and this is are the like different development phases and currently uh, drupal 8 is in the api completion phase where it is already released the alpha 7 version and once the beta version has been released then very soon we would be having the stable release after within a month or so and this is the cycle like release cycle of the phases and currently we can see that we are as we are in the api completion phase and we are having the alpha releases of the drupal 8 version so like near about 3 to 4 months we can see the stable version hopefully now let me show you the performance like difference between the drupal 7 and the drupal 8 like it is like it's it would be bit early to compare the performance of the drupal 7 and drupal 8 but like it's up till now what is the status of the drupal 8 performance we can see here and based upon the different scenario like it has been listed here like how drupal 8 is much faster as compared to drupal 7 and these are the few references which i have used to create this blog please provide your comments i would love to hear those thanks for listening me